Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick until the end of this problem, where I have two more bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 7 to the power of x minus 2. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is for my left hand side, I'm going to factor out 3 to the power of x. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 1 plus 1. This is equal to 7 to the power of x minus 2. Now 1 plus 1 is 2, so now I have 3 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 7 to the power of x minus 2. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 7 to the power of x plus 2, we can rewrite as 7 to the power of x plus negative 2. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 3 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 7 to the power of x times 7 to the power of negative 2. Now, 7 to the power of negative 2, this is the same thing as 1 over 7 to the power of 2. And now, 7 to the power of 2 is 49. So now, I have 7 to the power of x over 49. Now, I can multiply both sides by 49. So then these two will cancel out, and I'll be left with 7 to the power of x is equal to 49 times 3 to the power of x times 2. Now 49 times 2 is 98, so now I have 7 to the power of x is equal to 98 times 3 to the power of x. Now I can go ahead and divide both sides by 3 to the power of x. So then these two will cancel out, and I'll be left with 7 to the power of x over 3 to the power of x is equal to 98. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, 7 to the power of x over 3 to the power of x, that's going to equal 7 over 3 to the power of x. This is equal to 98. Now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 7 over 3 to the power of x is equal to log 98. And an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent of b to the front of the logarithm. So this is equal to b times log a. So in this case, log 7 over 3 to the power of x, I can move this exponent x to the front. So this is equal to x times log 7 over 3 is equal to log 98. Now I can divide both sides by log 7 over 3. So then these still cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to log 98 over log 7 over 3. Now log 98, this is equal to approximately 1.9912, and log 7 over 3, this is equal to log 7 minus log 3 which is equal to 0 0.3679. So I have 1.9912 over 0 0.3679, which is equal to 5.4123. So this is our answer. All right, so I have x to the power of x is equal to 256 to the power of 256 plus x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 256 to the power of 256 plus x, that's going to equal 256 to the power of 256 times 256 to the power of x. Now, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 256 to the power of x. So then these two cancel out, and I'll be left with x to the power of x 
over 256 to the power of x is equal to 256 to the power of 256. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So x to the power of x over 256 to the power of x, that's going to equal x over 256 to the power of x, which is equal to 256 to the power of 256. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the power of 1 over 256 on both sides. So now I have x over 256 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 256 is equal to 256 to the power of 256 to the power of 1 over 256. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So x over 256 to the power of x over to the power of 1 over 256, that's going to equal x over 256 to the power of x times 1 over 256. This is equal to 256 to the power of 256 times 1 over 256. Now x times 1 over 256 is x over 256. And 256 times 1 over 256, these still simply cancel out. So I'll simply left with 256. Now 256, this is the same thing as 4 to the power of 4. So I have x over 256 to the power of x over 256 is equal to 4 to the power of 4. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, and this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, x over 256 is equal to 4. Now to solve this, I can simply multiply both sides by 256. So these still cancel out. I'll be left with x is equal to 1024. All right, so I have 8 to the power of 202 plus 8 to the power of 200 over 65 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, 8 to the power of 202, we can rewrite as 8 to the power of 200 plus 2. So I have 8 to the power of 200 plus 2 plus 8 to the power of 200 over 65 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, a to the power of 200 plus 2, that's going to equal a to the power of 200 times a to the power of 2. Now, I have this plus a to the power of 200 over 65 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, from my numerator here, I can go ahead and factor out a to the power of 200. So now I have 8 to the power of 200 times, now 8 to the power of 200 times 8 to the power of 2 divided by 8 to the power of 200 is simply 8 to the power of 2, and now 8 to the power of 200 divided by 8 to the power of 200 is 1. So 8 to the power of 2 plus 1, now this over 65 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, 8 to the power of 2, that's equal to 64. So now I have 8 to the power of 200 times 64 plus 1 over 65 is equal to 2 to the power of x. 64 plus 1 is 65. So I have 8 to the power of 200 times 65 over 65 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now these two 65s can simply cancel out. So now I have 8 to the power of 200 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now 8 here, this is equal to 2 to the power of 3. So now if I substitute in 2 to the power of 3 for 8, I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 200 is equal to 2 to the power of x. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 200, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times 200 is equal to 2 to the power of x. 3 times 200 is 600, so now I have 2 to the power of 600 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x is equal to 600 because both our exponents here are equal to each other. So that is our answer.